So next, we're going to be talking about how to add user logins as well as user codes to the system. So let's go up to the top here and select users, and we're going to go to user list. Now this page will show everybody that has a login to be able to log into Connect One and make changes, and it will also show any user that you've added since the app was launched. So this page will allow you to create logins so the user can log in and manage the system. If you do not want the user to be able to log in and manage the system, but you just want to add them a code, you still have to create them as a new user on this page. So let's go ahead and hit create a new user. It'll bring you to the user page here. So I'm going to name my user Secure Alarm. So down here, you'll see that there's a login profile. Your choices are going to be admin. Uh, this will give them full control to be able to add and manage codes. Uh, manager, um, they will not be able to add and manage codes, but they'll still have all other authorities. Monitor, um, all they're allowed to do is view the system. They're not able to do anything else but look at it. And no authority. Um, this will not allow the user to even log in, but it will allow you to create the user so you can assign them a code later. So for this example, let's go ahead and select no authority. Even though they're not going to be able to log in, we do still have to create them a login name. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you do still have to assign them a password. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. So now we've got our user here. They've got no authority. So if we want to add them an arm disarm code where it says system codes, we're going to go ahead and hit add. So we see that they're assigned to the user's secure alarm here. So we can either enter a four digit code. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four. If you want to be able to view the code, you can go ahead and hit show code and it'll show it right here. If you want more screen privacy, you can go ahead and hit hide code and it will hide the code. Um, if you do not really, if you don't have a set code that you want, you can also always just generate a random code and it'll just pick four numbers for you. Make sure here, when you are assigning them a keypad code, this is set to keypad code under code format or it will not work. If we go down here, you assign the authority level. You have a standard or master. For this selection, I'm going to select standard. And then here, for what areas you want the user to be able to arm and disarm. So I want this user to be able to arm and disarm every area on the system. So I'm going to check both boxes here. If you do not want the system, to, if you do not want the user to be activated today, you want them to be activated at some date in the future, you can go ahead and activate, put the activation date in here. And that will allow them to be so like if I want this user to be active only on the 10th, I can go ahead and hit the 10th and they will not be active until midnight on the 10th. If I want them to be active now, you can just leave this box blank and now is the default choice. So let's go ahead and hit save. So we've got another pending command here. Once this command is done pending, then this user will be all set with the code that we added them for. So now that we've got this user added, let's go back up to the top here to users. And let's go to system codes. So this page will show all of the users on the system and what their codes are and what profile they have on the system. So if we go ahead and hit show codes, we can see everybody's code here on the system and what user they're assigned to. So as you can see, the user we just created, Secure Alarm, is assigned to the user Secure Alarm that we also just created with the code that we assigned here. If you don't want the codes to appear on the screen, you can go ahead and hit Hide Codes, and that will hide all of them. So now, if we need to delete a user, we can go back up to the Users tab here and go to User List. Then you're going to select the user that you want to delete. So let's select Secure Alarm. So you have a couple of options here. You have Deactivate User or Delete User. Deactivate User will just eliminate any authority for this code and any authority for their login. So they won't be able to do anything as far as arming or disarming or logging in or logging out. What this option allows you to do is reactivate the user at a later date with the same codes and the same login. So if you're temporarily deleting them, say for like a leave of absence, you can choose this option. If you want to fully delete them, you're going to go ahead and select Delete User. So let's go ahead and select Delete User. The system is going to ask, are you sure? I am. So let's hit Yes. 
then the system will also prompt if the user has any codes to assign to them. So in this case, I do want to remove their codes as well as the user, and this is the recommended option. So let's go ahead and hit yes. Another pending command will come up. You'll see that the user has already been removed from the user list. Once this pending command is done uh, pending here, then their code will also be removed from the system. 